Wow, friends, you are welcome to Custom Venture, where we learn swinging tips. I'm glad to have you today. Okay, today we'll be talking about uh, plants. Plants, of course. Okay, you get your fabric. I'll be using this fabric. Okay, the first thing you do is to get the cut the measurement of your my fabric. I have 36 here. So half of 36 is 18. Get your center, the center of the fabric. Then measure it this way. This is a 29. Out of 20, half of 29 is 14 and a half. So I've got in my center. So the next time we go make a straight line, make a straight line, make a straight line. The same thing goes here. Make this straight line. Same thing. So we've got in the center of our fabric. So the next thing you measure it depends on the size of your plants. The next thing you measure one and a half. Or we can make it two. Yes, two. Mark your two inches round. Mark your two inches round. Mark your two inches round. Then connect them. So what is the next thing? It depends on the size you want. Do I have one, three, four? I want the flange to be four. So I'll be putting sewing allowance, making it a four. I will need three and a half for the flange, so I join half to make it four. So I measure four from here, from one side. Yes, connect my four here. Four here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I continue my measurement of four. So that's how you continue measuring your foot till you are true. Wow, I'm true with the cutting. The center is not used for a second. Okay, friends, let me show us the outcome of the plants I cut okay I haven't cut it to the it comes out this way because you double your plants when you are cutting it this is just part of the one I cut you remember so I haven't sewn it to turn it over yes. cut give it a good iron give it a good press then, how do we sew it? Okay. 
when you are sewing it you straighten it by the time you straighten it in there because let's assume that the, the material you want to sew it onto when you straighten it in the process of straightening it it curves okay this one curves this way This one goes this way. Okay. Now, this one is not giving us a good curve because the it's a bit wide. Okay. This is one type of uh, flounce. And this is another type. Look at it. I've already attached this one to it. This one is a big one. So, normally if I want to attach mine to the fabric and then this is a, a skirt. I attach it before joining the skirt to the main. Sorry, is a is a dress. So the upper panel of the dress is there. It's not yet joined to it. So before I join it, I put my flounce there, and then normally I start my flounce from down when I'm sewing it. I sew it this way. Then it's folded. Can you see? You sew it step by step. It's not something you rush. It will give you a good cuff this way. So the same thing can be done to this one. If you want it that way. Okay. Okay. Let me show you how I got this my fold in here. You can also use this one. You go this way. That is after you're giving it a good press. You come back this way okay you go this way can you see how it's coming out you come this way you go this way okay come this way then when you are sewing it start from down just give it a, a running just Run the stitch here, fold it, run this one, fold it, 